What's up you guys? It's James here. Welcome back to another video. We're finally doing overhead stuff again. Yay, we got the setup ready. Anyway, we got three iPhones here. So we got an iPhone 10R. This looks like just, you know, standard iPhone 10R. iPhone 11 kind of kind of broken, you know. But just standard iPhone 11. And then we got what looks like just an average iPhone 11. Well, this is actually not an iPhone 11. But this is an iPhone XR fitted into a custom housing to make it appear as if it is an iPhone 11. I'm basically going full on dank pods with the mount, but with a mouse pad because um, that way I know when stuff is in frame. But anyway, yeah, no. So basically, this is the old housing to my iPhone XR. I bought this custom housing from China a couple weeks ago, and uh, two days ago, as of making this video, I got the housing in the mail installed it and boom it looks real it even came with a case i put this little lanyard thing here this came off a usb drive i got but anyway so i wanted to compare it to an actual iphone 11 now this iphone 11 has a dead logic board and i actually had to pull a bunch of screws and like some brackets out of this thing because 10rs and 11s are gen generally similar but anyway so yeah, um, first we'll actually compare it, well actually we'll just compare it to the 11. So as you can see here, the two cameras, which if we put them together, th the bottom one, cause this is fake, looks very real. Like this thing looks just identical to that camera. That's of course the real camera that I pulled out of the 10R. This thing has a camera lens in it, but that came out of like an iPhone 7 or 8. I don't even remember. And then, you know, we got the flash units. That actually works too, if we go and, uh, turn it on the flash works it kind of has like a very bad like glare uh, it's on the lowest flashlight but yeah this thing works great you know and then like the apple logos are the same the black on on it like to me honestly looks a little different from the 11 it looks very similar to the 10r but it also looks kind of like my iphone se my old one well actually i have a black iphone se frame my se used to be red but i'm also talking about my se that i had at first because i got like a black one brand new at walmart i ended up giving that one to someone else because i couldn't use it but uh yeah you know yeah the flash used to be down here on the 10r so yeah my 10r had some issues like the power button still worked the volume up button still worked but the volume down button didn't work and the mute switch when i got the phone originally was just stuck and it would always stay muted which i guess was nice but if i wanted to unmute i couldn't but, um, yeah, it just, like, doesn't want to stay in place. And then the cable ripped on the inside, which for some reason killed my volume down button. Like, the volume down button worked when I got the phone, too. This was the screen that was on the phone before I fixed it originally, because I had to buy this screen for the phone when I first got this. And um, I broke it with a hammer on purpose. I was doing a test, because this thing was just showing black. Like, you could see the backlight, so I hit it with the hammer, and no lines appeared, so that meant there was something wrong with this. Yeah, uh, also the frame's kind of messed up. Now, some people are probably asking, why didn't you just replace the volume button cable? Well, I couldn't because the screw's stripped on the inside. I'm not taking a small drill bit to this again. I've done that with my red SE frame to get one of the pencil lobe bits out. Yeah, and then, you know, if you look at the sides, the um, 11 is actually a little bit of a lighter black. It's more like, kind of like the iPhone 8 space gray compared to this custom housing. And then, like, if we... Put the 10R next to it. Um, you can see it matches the 10R more. I actually had the 10R SIM card tray in this thing for a little bit. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, also speaking of SIM cards, so it says TFW in here. Like it says track phone LTE. This actually still has my mobile SIM card in here, but I got one of those like, you know, bypass chips that you stick on the SIM card. But I had a different one in here originally that would say like mint and everything. Now let me unlock my phone. Um, we'll go into cellular. Let me make sure it doesn't show my light. Okay, it doesn't show any of my info, but um, yeah. It had that with the second one, cause it came with two adapters. It came with like the, um, a different one it was called U Sim Ultra or something. That one worked for a while, and then yesterday I was having a lot of issues with it because my iMessage wouldn't activate. So then I went to like this. I switched to the other one. It was called like the Jevy Sim or something. But uh, this one works way better. 
Because this one, even though it says TFW instead of like actually saying Mint like the other one did, this one allows me to have personal hotspot and Wi-Fi calling without having to do any other fiddling with it and my iMessage activated. But yeah, like the screen is the on the 10R and the 11 are the same, like, you know, kind of like quality and everything. They are different connectors, so obviously you can't swap them across, but still, these are like very similar. So yeah, and then we've got iPhone 8, I mean 11 cases. Stick the 10R in here with the custom housing. It fits. This one also has a weird camera hole. Like the camera hole on this phone. I mean, this case is weird. But, um, yeah, and then we got this iPhone 11 case. This one fits a little bit better around the camera bump. And I found out that I can actually go on AliExpress and buy, uh, like, if I break the flash flex cable, I can buy a new, just a new flex cable. I can apparently get new back panels for this, so I might actually, because, like, they make one specifically for the conversion kit. I might try to go and find an actual, like, aftermarket iPhone 11 back glass and see if I could fit it on here. I'll probably buy two back glasses. I'll get, like, the one that's made for the conversion housing and then one for the real 11. Test and see if the one for the real 11 fits, and if that fits, I'll just keep it on there. You know, because it, like, the, the, edgy, the edges on here is not is like the same as the 11 it's kind of hard with this one because it's shattered also the matte finish if you scratch it feels a little bit rougher than the actual 11 but i mean like other than that it's like a really good quality housing the camera the fake camera looks perfect it looks identical and i think they even put that like blue stuff over it that blue coating because i learned with iphone camera lenses that they have like a little blue camera like a little blue coating on it like, th like, this 11 doesn't have it anymore. But yeah, you know, like, this thing is basically just almost indiscernible from an iPhone 11. So, yeah, and then we stick it in a normal 10R case. You just get that weird thing. And then the flash, you can kind of see it through there. But, uh, yeah. You know, I'm going to get the phonerable case. Because the Gen 1 cases have been re-released. Uh, you can put, you can get the... Gen 1 case for the 11, and also the 2nd and 3rd Gen SE, and also the 8 and 7 with MagSafe. Now, of course, with the 7, all you need MagSafe for is, like, wallets, just, like, phone stands that don't have wireless charging because you can't use any of the charging accessories with it, like the wireless chargers because it's an iPhone 7. With the iPhone 8, those accessories work. And, of course, even if you put the battery pack on there, you're not going to get the cool software stuff. I was also thinking about getting the Apple smart battery case designed for the iPhone 11 because the 10R charges in those. And I'm pretty sure it'll pick it up as a normal smart battery case. And I'm actually trying to find an iPhone 7 smart battery case so I can put my iPhone 8 in there. And speaking of iPhone 7s, I actually have a project that's upcoming. I haven't bought the parts for it yet. I have an iPhone 7 128 gigabyte matte black that I got from a friend. It had an issue with the display where the backlight didn't work, but the touch worked, the LCD worked. I thought it was logic board damage because I connected a like damaged LCD to the iPhone 7 and it turned on with the backlight working, so it worked. It was on iOS 13.3.1 and it was FMI off. So I managed to actually, because it was only passcode locked, so I managed to factory reset it using my Mac. I had to use some like modified version of CheckRain that allows me to actually use it on passcode locked devices. I used Sliver, which is like a bypass tool just to factory reset the phone. I factory reset it, set it up. I haven't even sent in my Apple ID yet, though. And I set up the phone, and it works. It just needs a display. I have the Touch ID home button, too. So it's not like my iPhone 8 where I don't have Touch ID and I have to go buy one of those stupid home buttons. I mean, they're not dumb. They're just like, I don't like the fact that I lose Touch ID every time the home button breaks. My iPhone 7, my old 128 gigabyte one, is probably going to get fixed up too and it's going to need one of those third-party home buttons i'll probably buy it from iFixit, you know because i've gotten my iphone 8 home button there they usually don't have problems the first one had some issues so i had to like you know they i, I sent an email you know for like troubleshooting they just sent me a whole new one so you know i fix it good you know i actually you know use them for parts and everything now i do use repair parts usa for like the iphone 10r display just because the 10r displays are like better than the um well, they're cheaper, and this is a high-quality screen that's on here, too. I'm, I'm probably going to get a new one just because this thing's kind of scratched. Yeah, oh, no, the ed... <sighs> it's always the edges on these housings that, like, scratch first, because there's already scratches on here. But yeah, I'm going to get that phone rebel case and, you know, make this 
you know, I'm going to get the Frost series probably because that's the same one I used to have on my iPhone 8. I was going to buy that case. Or I got I got that um, Phone Rebel case really cheap because it was used, but it still worked really well. My friend actually has it on his iPhone SE now because, you know, he uses his iPhone SE a lot. But yeah. Yeah, now this phone used to be one of my friend's phones who sold it to the friend, my friend that has the my phone rebel case, and then I give him some stuff for this one. It worked for a little bit. He actually put a new screen on here because originally this thing had a busted screen from when my when my other friend who gave it who sold it to him had broke the screen. Got the phone reset. You know, I I had to pair a Bluetooth keyboard to it because like there's a black line on the LCD now. And the touch doesn't work in some areas, so I couldn't type in the password, so I had to use my Bluetooth iPad keyboard to sign out of his account. And then to set it up, I had to hook it up to my Mac just to get past the, like, hello screen. Which, I didn't have to bypass anything, because this thing's not iCloud locked. But, uh, I had to actually set the thing up, because the screen's broken. And then I paired my keyboard, sent in my Apple ID, so this thing's on my iCloud now. If I ever send in the logic board to get fixed and I get a new screen for it, I could have an actual iPhone 11. And then if I get a new frame, I can do a better comparison to the 10R. Now, I also don't have Face ID on here because my Face ID is broken. So, yeah. My Face ID doesn't work anymore. But that's been, that's been like that before the conversion kit. So, it wasn't the conversion kit that did that. This one also never had Face ID from when my friend had it. Like, well... His face ID broke. He got a replacement one of these. And now he's got a 14 Pro Max. So, you know, he's going up. But, I mean, like, it was weird. Because, like, at my school, we have to put our phones in, like, this weird holder because of, um, you know, new rules and stuff. So that way people aren't on their phones in class. All I know is it's weird knowing that a phone that looks like this is mine. I mean, like, it was already weird seeing this in there. But now seeing this, I'm just like, gee, I've really gotten better phones i mean like it's almost like i got a whole new phone and this is just my old one it's like yeah i broke my old one so i got a new one because that's usually how it goes either that or i fixed them because like my iphone 8's gone through so many housing swaps it's actually in an iphone 8 housing again but anyway you know that that should do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video peace she asked what i really don't